Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, how y'all feel out there? How y'all feel out there? I'm feeling great, feeling good. How are you? Hey, feeling great, feeling good. How are you? I hope you enjoyed your Easter weekend, man. It was a super long one, but a very necessary one. I think all of us just needed that break to relax and de-stress and pull ourselves towards ourselves because you know we all need a break in life. But right now we gotta get right back into it as I'm doing right now with episode nine of the corner. If you are new to the show, welcome to it, welcome to it. Favor, 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 favor. Hit the subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on any of the shows in the future, man. I got a smashing show for you and I cannot wait to share all the music good, good I got for you because you know I always bring you that good music stuff. The Corner, episode 9. Let's get right into it. All right, now for our number one. Number one. Come on, why is that? Come on, guys. I hope you get the reference. No? Okay. On the number one spot, man, is one of my favorite hip-hop groups of the 2000s, man. And the dude that put me onto this is Mpumele Lomato, a.k.a. Mr. Mo A24, a.k.a. Mr. High on Medication himself. Designer and photographer extraordinaire, man. Shout out to you. Of course, I'm talking about Coolie High. I just love these dudes. First track I heard was this awesome joint called Make Something Out of Nothing and Turn Nothing into Something Something. Make something out of nothing and turn nothing into something something. Make something out of nothing and turn nothing into something. Now that joint was from their 2011 release called Eastern Standard Time. Dope joint, dope album. And now they're back with a brand new album called Never Come Down. Executively produced by none other than Ninth Wonder under the Jamla Records umbrella. You can just imagine the kind of dopeness that you get from Cooley Hand Rhymes and Ninth Wonder Jamla Records on beats. Man, what an awesome project. You just want to bite on it like an apple logo. <sighs> Now, Cooley High never misses a beat. In my opinion, they've just been great from all the albums that I've ever heard from them. From uh, David Thompson to Heights to Eastern Standard Time, everything that they've released up until now has never come down. They've always managed to stay in their lane and do exactly what they're good at. Not trying to branch out and be abstract and do things that we don't know them for or that they're not good at. They just managed to stay at what they know and how they rhyme and what their style is. And they just seem to be growing and growing and growing from strength to strength in that and of course having the mentorship of um, a person like Ninth Wonder you can imagine the kind of musicianship and musicality that you get in that kind of project man excellent album pure smoothed out melodic chilled grown folk music that will get you head nodding like this head nodding like this every time you head nodding like this now when never come down drop i was glad to see some of my favorite names in music making an appearance on this album and of course i'm talking about names like me dn who's been taking an unnecessarily long hiatus from music i don't know what's going on with you but it was great to hear his rhymes in this album you know that abstract style that he has on jazzy beats man it just always makes sense and he doesn't fall short on being amazing on this album another person that makes an appearance is one of my favorite singers Kalita Durant who's worked with the likes of the foreign exchange amongst others doing major things over there and she is just absolutely brilliant and of course one of my favorite MCs of all time who seems to be making so many appearances on this show because of all the moves that she's making talking about Rhapsody man in fact if you didn't know this is where Rhapsody's music career started she is one of the original members of Cooley High back in the day. Google that shit, find it, and see her on the videos, man. And now look at her. Look at her now. Hey, look at her now. Hey. Uh, she's in the grab maze. Look at her now. Hey. The video to their first single called Ceiling has dropped on uh, YouTube and I will drop a link below so you can check it out and see what kind of brilliant work these guys have done, man. Excellent work through and through. I'm really loving what I'm hearing and I hope to hear more in the future from these guys. Coolie High, never come down. That's what's up, man. Dope music. Jamila, what's up? Moving on to item number two on the program, as I'm telling you, as the program director, because we are moving on with the show. <laughs> Oh god, I'm so dumb. Our item number two is a very special one, especially if you are a live music fanatic. Now, if you are an NPR Tiny Desk Concert Series fan and a Master Ace fan, which I'm assuming you are a fan of both of them, otherwise... I have no words. 
You will be glad to know that NPR Tiny Desk Concerts has just dropped their latest series featuring the man himself, Master Ace. Man, what an awesome show. Too short, but I loved it nonetheless, man. It was just great to see him coming out live and doing his thing, man. I'm such a big fan of Master Ace since like Disposable Arts, A Long Hot Summer, Son of Yvonne, The A&E Project, EMC, everything that he's ever done is just gold. I mean, Master Ace is just literally one of the realest to ever 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 freaking do it and to see him on the tiny desk concert it just shows how much of a master he is ace killing it killing it Master A still got it guys, I mean the guy is just brilliant, he still has the energy of like a 20 something year old with the mind of a 40 something creative genius, pen game is still on point, you know the, the, the performance is on point, the band is just all kinds of amazing and they let him do his thing, he opens up with Son of Yvonne, um, goes on with a few songs and then closes it with History, now on History he takes you through his entire history as a musician and all the experiences that he's gone through some good and some are bad and you can see just the undying love that this man has for hip-hop you know it's it's unmatched man you can see that he really loves this thing more than most do you know he he, he sings from his heart and his soul and he, he, he just leaves everything on the stage he literally just leaves it on the stage so you can just take it experience and absorb it man ace is one of the realest to ever do it and on top of that shout out to bhutan wear man ace is wearing a hidden panthers yellow bhutan wear top and i was absolutely proud to see that because you know SA is showing up on that Bhutan way of being an SA premium brand and Master Ace is rocking it on NPR Tiny Desk concert which means we are also in there in this uh, astounding moment in time and I'm loving it so much this is a concert that you have to see short as it is it will leave you just blown away I'm blown away by it I'm a Master Ace fan and he showed up and I'm all kinds of satisfied Ace doing his thing man on the NPR Tiny Desk concert this is one for the books I'm gonna drop a link below so you can check it out and be as blown away as I am. Ace, one of the best to ever do it. Trust me on that one. Legendary status fam, legendary. All right, and that is it. Give petto, give do. We have come to the end of the show with just two, man. <laughs> See what I did there? Give petto, give two with just two. <laughs> Genius, right? Genius. Anyway, man, I'm going to drop a link below to the projects I spoke about and you can check them out, man. Enjoy them and just involve yourself in the good vibe that is the good music, man. If you love the video, hit the like button down below so I know that you like it. If you don't, hit the dislike button because that's always good to know. Otherwise, if you want to say something to me, hit me up in the the comment section and i'll be glad to get right back at you and if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button down below and share with your family share with your friends share with everybody so they can know to come here for that good good music stuff otherwise may not and so catch up on the next one so what i put you next time on episode 10 away now on episode 10 away. Ah, so bonaputi next time. <laughs> Peace out, John. Much love.